Since breaking out on America's Got Talent in 2015, Piff the Magic Dragon has won the heart of America through his Vegas residency, and now he's heading to the Sydney Goldstein Theater this weekend. And he joins us now ahead of his show. Piff the Dragon, thanks so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Thank you, Olivia the Human. I appreciate it. <laughs> Of course, we're so excited to have you now. Like we said, back in 2015, Piff the Dragon, that is when you first got recognized through your efforts on the show on America's Got Talent. What was that experience like, and how did it help pave the way for the rest of your career? Well, I had like I moved to Vegas in 2013, and I loved it so much I wanted to stay. So I thought, I'll go on America's Got Talent, and uh, I'll, like, you know, I become famous enough so that I can have my own show in Las Vegas. And so uh, I got all the way to the finals on America's Got Talent, and then I shot my dog, Mr. Piffles, out of a cannon, and it went down in flames. But the very next day, I landed a show right here in Las Vegas. So it ended up being all worthwhile. Now, I'm glad you mentioned the residency here and well, over there in Las Vegas, which is where you are at. Tell me about what, what the process has been like for you during this residency and how it's even evolved you as an individual. Well, we've been at the Flamingo for seven years now, and we started in, in this small room, and now we're in the, we just, two years ago, we moved into the, uh, the big Flamingo showroom there, and we've got a brand new show, all new tricks, all new jokes, same dog. And um, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, being like the same place every week has like given us a chance to make the tricks bigger and bigger and bigger and better than ever. And for somebody who has never been to one of your shows, if they would like mm. to come see you, what will they be able to expect, Piff the Dragon? Uh, grumpy Dragon, check. Uh, tiny Cute Dog, check. And also Magic, for example. <laughs> Olivia, are you going to name a card? What card do you want to name? Any card? Any card. Okay, um, I'm going to go with a four of hearts. You're kidding. Because this morning, Mr. Piffles was playing with these cards himself. Uh -huh. And he turned one of the cards over, just one single card over out of the whole deck with this tiny little puppy pee. And look, <laughs> it's the four of hearts. What? Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Piff the Magic Dragon, how did you do that? I know you're not going to reveal your tricks here on Live in the Bay. <laughs> I can't tell you. You'd have to ask the dog. We have to ask the dog. Well, speaking of the dog, why has he been such a crucial part of your act? Mr. Pivots and I have been together now for 13 years. And uh, he's, a, he's a sort of, you know, he's very, like, tiny and cute and lovable. So he makes up for all this. He makes up for all of this. Well, that's so incredible that the two of you have been together for 13 years, and now you're able to incorporate him into so many of your acts. Now, you'll also be visiting San Francisco very soon. Can you tell me about yeah. this upcoming trip? Yeah, it's our last tour day of the year. We've been on the road with Puddles, Pity Party from America's Got Talent, the seven-foot clown with the golden voice. And we're finally making it to San Francisco. And... Uh, I do the first half, he does the second half, and then we join forces at the end. So it's like two shows for the price of one. And Piff, how is this slightly different from a Las Vegas show or a show that people would see in your in your residency? We do all different tricks when we're on tour. So a uh, totally different show, and um, we, we, we like keep some surprises just for the road. When did your journey with magic first get started? Because I know you said you've been together with your dog now for 13 years, but for you personally, when did you first realize you were interested in magic? I like started when I was 15, when I was like, just like a regular person. And then uh, I like learned these card tricks and I got really good at doing card tricks, but I would do them to people and then people would be like, why are you so grumpy? You're like the Eeyore of magic. And so I evolved into a genuine magical dragon. Uh, and everyone loves a grumpy dragon, so it worked out fine. Everybody loves a grumpy dragon, and I, I love that too. The Eeyore of magic. I've never heard that one. I love, But I love Eeyore. Eeyore's grumpy, but everybody loves Eeyore. He's Eeyore. the best in the book. <laughs> he is the best in the book, absolutely. Now, how have you seen yourself grow, both professionally and personally, over the years from your magic tricks from when you first started up until now? Well, the great thing about like being able to have a show in Vegas and tour all over the place is you get to like practice a lot in front of people. So over the last seven years, we've kind of come up with this. We've kind of come up with new material that's like better than anything we've ever done before. 
and um, I've got much better at uh, being funny on stage. So, <laughs> you know, it's like a 2.0 Magic Dragon since America's Got Talent. 2.0 since America's Got Talent. I love that. Now, what's coming up next for you? I know that there's a lot planned out, but anything we can look forward to? Yeah, we're, we're at the Flamingo all through 2023. We're back on the road a bit. And hopefully we've got uh, a few surprises coming out that we can't, we can't talk about them yet because they're too secret. Well, speaking of surprises, I have one last question for you before I let you go. And this might be hard to answer, but what is one of your favorite tricks that you've ever performed in your career, whether it's on America's Got Talent or the Las Vegas Residency? Do you have a favorite? Yeah, we just did it on America's Got Talent. You can, you can look it up. Uh, Harry Mandel named any drink and Mr. Piffles delivered it into a cup and then <laughs> Harry Mandel drunk it. He actually asked for an Arnold Palmer so it came out all brown and frothy and then <laughs> Harry Mandel had to drink it. We're going to have to check it out. Well, Piff the Magic Dragon, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. It was a pleasure. Thanks so much for having me. Take care.